Well, by the time the Russian Jeep uh, reaches uh, Garask, they've already got 120 kilometers behind them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's when Kipling uh, used to be uh, the great-grandson. Now uh, the great-granddaughter of Rudyard Kipling. Oh, she just goes into her storytelling mode. Huh? This is just like dazzling the chauffeur. Well, there's a role reverser here. They don't talk about it, but uh, Ivanov becomes the private chauffeur of the white Zadu S. Yeah. The Kafiristan Fall Festival, where the big bad Budalak, mm -hmm, the whole village, while well, there. He doesn't talk about the masturbation part of the story. Yeah, uh, well, he dutifully pulls off the road every time they come to up some somatic children uh, begging for matches. And when the children, they see that suitcase size matchbox. I mean, this is the biggest one that could ever get born in the world. They see that. They just like squealing with delight. Oh, they're fantasized out of their little, little skulls. The little beaded skull caps fly off. And that's when the the chest of the buffed out <laughs> Zadu S. Uh, she bellows with laughter as she, well, John McQueen, huh? Melodramatically, she reaches into her giant man's box and what's in there? And then she just throws the owl, you know. <laughs> Plenty of matchboxes. You got 50 every time they pull over. The kids are all scrambling in the desert, jumping all over each other, trying to get them. <laughs> Laughing, giggling, yeah. Extraordinary generosity. White Zadu Queen. Compassionate. Appreciated fire for nomads. Goat skin tents bringing their animals down from the Hindu Kush into the Helmand River Valley to grow a quick crop of opium before they go north again into the 7,000 foot snow covered peaks in the interior. Oh, there's only one road through there. Well, you better have a three weeks to get through there and a lot of bullets. You got to be heavily armed to make it straight across. That's why people dip down to Kandahar and then up to Arat because it's all desert plateau. Well, kind of a plateau. Um, you got to realize how beautiful the earth is around here. The whole desert plateau is 2,000 meters. I mean, you're lucky if you ever get below 6,000 feet in the whole country because there's this high plateau on the edges and 7,000 meters in the center. That's over 20,000 feet in the center. I mean, look, I, come, I mean, up in Tibet, the whole country's 11,000 feet. Never gets lower than that. And, oh, yeah. Late afternoon, she comes in colors. Yeah, I like the way she moves. Um, cobalt blue. Hue in the atmosphere. And as the sun starts to set, that morphs into magnificent, deep cherry. Yeah. Well, these nomads, they're going to stay toasty for sure, yeah. White Zoroas has come through. And uh, uh, nine hours passes. Okay. And the Ivanov drives up the colonnade of, of, of pine trees. I can't stop talking about it. Huh? Uh, four kilometers of them on each side of the road. I mean, this is kind of desert art with trees so so gracious yeah mm -hmm. and uh ivanov yeah well you know chauffeuring the white zada run 
she tells her, drop me off in front of the Bezat. The Bezat Hotel, f most fun hotel. <laughs> most stone hotel in Afghanistan run by Bay. Yeah. And once again, the fame and the glory and how good looking she is uh, precedes her of reputation. I mean, uh, Bay's heard about a character like this, but is this really uh, her?